KPM. Hello everyone, you are now watching Success SPM 2021 together with me, Chris MJ. Now, before we proceed any further, this is just a friendly reminder to always adhere to SOP, especially in this battle against COVID-19, okay? Number one, please always remember to wear your face mask. Number two, constantly use hand sanitizers. And last but not least, when you're in a public area, do practice social distancing of not less than one meter. Now, if you're wondering, Chris, why are you speaking English today? That is because the subject of focus for today's lesson is Bahasa Inggris. And to be specific on the topic of don't believe everything you see. Uh, but before that, let's take a look at today's teacher's profile. And we have teacher Amira with us in the studio. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. How so, do you do? I'm good. Thank you. And so awesome to have you here. Now, teacher Amira, can I ask you something? You have been a guru academic for this particular subject. How long have you been a guru academic for I've been for teaching this? for six years already. Six years. Wow. I have no doubt that we are in good hands today. <laughs> now, teacher, um, maybe you can give us some sort of um, overview of today's topic. Like, what is so interesting about it? Okay, so today's topic is about don't believe everything you see. Okay. So there's always another side of the story. So we're going to figure out the truth behind everything we see. Ah, okay. So because nowadays, especially in today's age, there's so many things on social media, right? There's so many yes. articles and it's always important to look at the facts, correct? Yes, do the, the fact check first. Right, right. Okay. Now, teacher, just like in every classroom, we need to have classmates, am I correct? Yes, true. And today we do have our friends from SMK, Dato Mustafa Slango with us in studio. Hi, everyone. All right. Hi. Hi, look at these handsome faces over here. So maybe let's get to know them a little bit better. So let's start with uh, Ideal. Go ahead, please introduce your name and your ambition as well. So my name is Muhammad Ali Fazli and my ambition Oh, uh, sorry, Ideal, I couldn't really hear you. Could you get your mic closer to your mouth? Thank you. Uh, hello, my name is Muhammad Ali Fazdin, and my ambition is to be a pilot. To be a pilot? Wow, that's amazing. Now, next, let's go proceed to Ismail. Uh, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Ismail Bayar Abdul Ghani. And my ambition is to be an animation. Wow, that is amazing, Ismail. Thank you so much. Nice. And next, let's proceed to, let's go with Daniel. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Daniel Hakim, and I want to be a movie producer. Wow, great stuff, Daniel, great stuff. And what about you, Karar? My name is Mama Kalda Gabda Zimazdan. My ambition is A4. Great stuff, great stuff. And uh, next, let's proceed with Megat. Uh, hi, my name is Megat Shakirin Hakimi by Megat Ahmad Sofian. Uh, my ambition is mechanic. Very nice, very nice. And last but not least, we have Akil. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Mama Akil Nabil. My ambition is accounting. accounting. Accounting, right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so earlier we've already heard teacher Amira's opinion on today's topic. But our friends over here on Google Meets will be the one taking SPM. So maybe let's hear their opinion on today's topic. Sure. So maybe we could uh, ask uh, Daniel, what, what do you think on today's uh, topic of uh, study? Uh, I think the topic we're going to learn today is already normal nowadays. Right, right. Yes, and it's very common and it's very important as well. Right, Daniel? And uh, next, uh, why don't we ask uh, Megat, what do you think of today's topic? 
Um, the today's topic, I think, what come to my mind is the title to let no believe anything totally without checking the facts. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Always check the facts first, yeah, before you believe yes. everything. So, and uh, last but not least, uh, maybe we can ask Karar, what do you think of today's uh, topic? I think the topic we share about the facility and what we see and mm. our eyes might treat us uh, being tricked into seeing things that are not real. Nice. Thanks so much, guys, for sharing your opinions. Now, Teacher Amira, I'm ready. I'm sure they are ready as well and you watching at home are ready. But before we actually proceed with today's lesson, could I invite you to our special table over here just so we can practice our SOPs together with applying hand sanitizer just to be safe, right? Here yes. in DDTV. TV. Okay. okay, so I'm going to put hand sanitizer as well. And for the safety of everyone in the studio, we will remain with our mask on, okay? Yes, sure. Now, um, Teacher Amira, how about we take a short break just so for our friends to get ready, get your stationery out. And for those of you watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on Success SPM Doplo Doplo Satu. Dede TV KPM. Dede TV KPM. Welcome back to Success SPM Doplo Doplo Satu. Together with me, Chris MJ, and today we have Teacher Amira as well. On the subject of English, with the topic, don't believe everything you see. And just before this, we, we had to hear opinions from Teacher Amira, as well as our friends from uh, SMK Datuk Mustafa Slango. But uh, it is now time for our class. So, but before that, are you ready? Can I get a Google, uh, our friends on Google Meets? Are you ready? If you're ready, give me a thumbs up. All right, amazing. Now, over to you, Teacher Amira. All right, thank you, Chris. Okay, so the topic for today's lesson is don't believe everything you see. So this is actually a rigid lesson from Form 4 syllabus. Mm -hmm. So the lesson is taken from Form 4 textbook, Full Blast Plus 4. This lesson comprises the main skill of reading and complementary skill of speaking. Okay, before we start with our lesson, I'm going to talk about the lesson objectives first. Okay. So by the end of the lesson, pupils will be able to identify the similar keywords from clues provided by other words in the reading text. Ah. Next, they will also be able to justify their own point of views on topic being discussed. All right. Okay, so I have this picture first. All right, students, can you see the picture here? Yes. Okay. All right. So do you think the image is animated? Wow. It's hard to um, tell. Yes. Okay, my God. So you think that the image is animated? It looks like it's swirling, right? Uh, it's like a moving. It's like moving. All right, Chris, what do you uh. think about the picture? Is it really animated? <laughs> From my angle, it does look like it's moving. Is it animated? Okay, I actually, actually, your eyes are being tricked. The <gasps> image is not animated. What? Yes. All right, let's proceed to the next picture. I see. Okay, so I have the second picture. All right, students, can you see which orange circle is bigger? Uh, I think the right side. The right side is bigger than the left side. Is it true? What do you think, Chris? Ah, uh, I think they are the same size. Okay, I so think. let's see. Any of you agree with Chris' opinion? <laughs> Boys, any of you agree with Chris' opinion? Yes. Do you think it's the same size? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, so the orange circles are actually of the same sizes. Yes, this is just an optical illusion. Ah. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, so I have these questions over here. I'm going to ask the students about the questions. So they are going to give their review or opinion about the mm. question. Okay, so let's start with the first student. Can I have Megat? Hello, Megat. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, my God. Do you have your favorite celebrity? Yes, I have. Okay, so who's your favorite celebrity? Uh, my favorite celebrity is Hyrule Azrin. Oh, you like Hyrule Azrin. So are you influenced yes, by like. the way he looks like? Um, yes, I am very impressed by the way they look uh, and always appear neat. 
but he slow always but i won't be influenced to follow their style i will just stick to my own okay so you are not really influenced by his style you just stick to your own okay would you change anything about yes. yourself to look like hairul azrin uh no because i don't want change i want to change i don't want to change myself to become someone else and i will take positive vibes and be comfortable in my own skin okay so you just like his styles but you don't want to change anything about yourself to be just like him okay that's a good idea okay you stick to your own personality thank you megat very inspiring next can okay. i have daniel hello daniel hello all right daniel who is your favorite celebrity uh my favorite celebrity is paul walker Oh, the late Paul Walker. All right. So, are you influenced by the way he looks like? Uh, not really. Uh, the style that he wear is pretty cool. I like it, but I don't want to change myself to be like him. Okay, the style is pretty cool, but you don't want to change yourself just to be like him. All right. So, would you change anything about yourself to look like a celebrity? Uh, not at all, because I would prefer to have my own look or. I don't really let someone to have the same style as mine. Oh, you do really have a good self-esteem. Okay, that's a good yes, idea, yes. Daniel. All right, thank you, Daniel. Next, can I have Ismail? Hello, Ismail. All right, Ismail, who is your favorite celebrity? Hello. Who is your favorite celebrity? Uh, my favorite celebrity. My favorite celebrity is Mr. Beast. Oh, Mr. B is a YouTuber, right? Okay, so are you influenced by the way he looks like? Uh, no. I don't want to copy him because I have my own appearance. Okay, all right, I see that. Would you change anything about yourself to look like celebrity or your favorite celebrity, Mr. Beast? No, I don't like copy others. Okay, you don't like to copy others. That's fine. Thank you, Ismail. Next, can I have Aidil? Hello, Aidil. Okay. Okay, Aidil, who is your favorite celebrity? Uh, my favorite celebrity is Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Okay, wow. so are you influenced by the way celebrities look? Uh, yes, because I like his body is well built. He looks so tough and muscular. Okay, so you like that his body is well built and he, you love seeing his muscles. All right, would you change anything about yourself to look like your favorite celebrity? Uh, for the time being, uh, no, because uh, I feel comfortable being my chef. Wow. But later when I I got a job and I check Monday, uh, I'll try to make myself presentable and friendly. Okay, so that's interesting. For the time being, you are comfortable in your own skin, but later when you have a job and you get a fat paycheck, you will start to change yourself. Is it true? That's a good idea. All right, thank you, Aidil. Next, can I have Akil? Hello, Akil. Yes, teacher. All right, Akil, yes, who teacher. is your favorite yes. celebrity? My favorite uh, celebrity is Ustaz Abid Liu, teacher. Ustaz Abid Liu. So are you influenced by the way he looks like? Yes, teacher. Because I like when he help people and win when he make the charity job. So he has this image of helping people. All right. So would you change anything about yourself to look like your favorite celebrity? Yes, teacher. I want to be like him as he always helping people. Okay. So he inspire you to do charity work. That's a good idea. Thank you, Akhil. Last but not least, can I have Koror? Yes. All right, Koror, who is your favorite celebrity? Zizan. Oh, Zizan Raza. Okay, so are you influenced by the way celebrities look like? Mm, because if they consistent in dressing nicely uh, when promoting product. Okay, so he dressed nicely when he, was, when, when he is promoting products. All right, would you change anything about yourself to look like your favorite celebrity? No, because I am more comfortable and more confident with my life right now. Okay, so you are comfortable in your own skin. That's good. All right. Thank you, everyone.
All right, so let's proceed with the next one. Let me, before that, let me ask you, Chris. Oh, right. Who is your favorite celebrity? You are a celebrity yourself, no, but no. then who is your favorite celebrity? I'm not a celebrity, but my my favorite celebrity is uh, Shah Rukh Khan actually. Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah, I, I grew up right. watching his movies like like yeah. So are you influenced by the way he looks? Um, yeah, I, I, I like doing that hair flip, you oh, know. Oh yeah, like, the that hair style. style. That's so cool. Yeah, but yeah, Shah Rukh Khan is Shah Rukh Khan. Nobody can top him lah. Uh, right. Yeah. Yes, that's true. <laughs> so you look a little bit like him. Oh, wow. Oh wow. <laughs> Even with the mask, right? Oh, oh, maybe. Teacher Amira, you're too, you're too kind. You're too kind. All right. Okay. So let's proceed. <laughs> okay. So we are going to have our reading activity after this. So the title okay. of the reading text is "Don't Believe Everything You See." Mm. Here we are going to apply the reading strategy of skimming the text. Skimming. All right, okay. students. For your information, skimming is when we read the text roughly or quickly just to get some random ideas or rough ideas about the text. Teacher, is there a benefit in terms of skimming, applying the skill in reading a text? Like, what are the benefits? Okay, for skimming, we use skimming just to get some rough idea or reading for gist. Ah, I see. I so see. So that is the first reading. Okay. Okay. okay? All right. So let's start with the first paragraph. Okay, for the first paragraph, can we have a volunteer, Chris? Yeah, sure. Uh, anyone who, who would like to try to read the first paragraph? Just raise your hands. Anybody? Okay, we have Karar. All right. All right, Karar. Can you please read the text? This will know a demo photograph of model and celebrity and unrealistic portrayal of beauty. This uh, is because many of the images have been edited using digital manipulation. Using computer software like Photoshop is so common that the word Photoshop is vain in turn this scenery as well. The best way to confirm... Uh, Karar, to Karar Bolik, uh, can you speak louder just a little bit? Yeah, just, just, yeah, just so we can hear you clearly. You're, you're doing an amazing job, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Make it louder, please. Thank you. Uh, Right, just continue. Using computer software. Ah. Using computer software like Photoshop is so common that the word Photoshop has even in turn distinguished as a book. The visual to conform to what the media show to be beautiful influence people psychologically negatively. People psychology? Psychology negatively. All right. Thank you, Karar. Thank you. So it is well known that most photographs of models and celebrities are an unrealistic portrayal of beauty. This is because many of the images have been edited using digital manipulation. Using computer software like Photoshop is so common that the word Photoshop has even entered dictionary as a verb. The pressure to conform to what the media shows to be beautiful influences people's psychology negatively. All right, Karar, so what the text is talking about? Can you explain it in easier words? The text talks about unrealistic images fit by using digital manipulation. Okay, mm. so this text talk, or yeah. this paragraph talks about unrealistic image shown or done by using digital manipulation. Okay, thank you, Karar. Next. Thanks, Karar. All right, okay. for the second paragraph, can I have another volunteer? All right, maybe who wants who wants to try the next one? Just raise your hand. Okay, so we have Megat. Megat, go ahead, read it okay. loud and clear, buddy. <coughs> Uh, you may think that the manipulation of photographs all began with the development of computer software. But photo manipulation is almost as old as photography itself. What you are actually seeing is a photo of the politician John Calhoun with, with the president head stuck on it. These early photos will usually change using ink, for pen and a brush, but when photo editing software was invented, Photo manipulation really took off. Recent, de recent de development have even made it possible to digital edit moving picture, making actor in a centina, taller, fatter, or smaller. All right, so you may think that the manipulation of photographs all began with the development of computer software, but photo manipulation is almost as old as photography itself. Oh, wow. That's surprising. What you are actually seeing is a photo of the politician John Calhoun with the president's head stuck on it. These early photos were, were usually changed using ink, paint and airbrushes. But when photo editing software was invented, photo manipulation really took off. Recent developments have even made it possible to digitally edit moving pictures, making actors in a scene thinner, taller, fatter or smaller. So what is your idea about this paragraph, Megat? 
Um, as mentioned in the text photo, manipulation has started at the same time as photography. As photography, um, visually they use ink, pen, and airbrushes. But today we have the photo editing software. Okay, so the photo manipulation already started as well as photography. Okay, and they previously used ink, pen, and airbrushes to edit the photos. But nowadays we also have the photo editing software, which is easier. Mm. All right, thank you, Magat. Thanks, Magat. Next, thank can you. I have another volunteer? Yes, please raise your hands. Boys, anyone? If, if no one raise your hand, then I'll have to choose the lucky person, okay? <laughs> okay, so let's go with Akil. <laughs> Akil, go ahead, read it loud and clear. Firstly, making people look slimly by... Slimmer, slimmer, Akil. Obviously, slimmer making people look slimmer. Look slimmer by 10 kilos or making their eyes bigger to improve their look is bending the two of too much. But how about changing the background to switch the color of a dress or changing the color of a model's ears or eyes, hair? Eyes or hair. Eyes or hair. Is this acceptable? What about making models skin slightly smarter? The point is that everyone has their own opinion about when photo manipulation gets out of hand. All right. Obviously, making people look slimmer by 10 kilos or making their eyes bigger to improve their looks is bending the truth too much. But how about changing the background to suit the color of a dress or changing the color of a model's eyes or hair? Is this acceptable? What about making a model's skin slightly smoother? The point is that everyone has their own opinion about when photo manipulation gets out of hand. So can you give me your idea about the paragraph, Akhil? Yes, teacher. My opinion uh, in uh, a paragraph is the paragraph talk about making photo appear totally different by using editing software. software. It is okay to edit the photo to extend the picture. However, as editing making is become out of reality. Okay, so it is okay to just edit the photo with a slight improvement just to enhance the photo. Mm. But then, it is also can become too extreme when they try to edit the photos into becoming out of reality. Right, it becomes too fake, right? Yes, teacher Amira? true. Well, Teacher Amira, based on your previous examples, what I can see and really tell is that it's so important to actually start skimming through a paragraph because sometimes you can have too much of information. Yes. And I'm really excited to see more examples and more practices. But what about, let's take a short break first. Sure. And then we'll come back with more examples. And for those of you watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Here on Success SPM Doplo Doplo Satu. Didik TV KPM. Didik TV KPM. Welcome back to Success SPM Doplo Doplo Satu. Together with me, Chris MJ, and today we have Teacher Amira as well in the studio with our friends from SMK Datuk Mustafa Selengo. And previously, we just practiced some reading paragraphs and we do have some more examples, right, yes. Teacher Amira? So yes. over to you. All right, thank you, Chris. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, so this is uh, the fifth paragraph. Can I have a volunteer to read out loud? Uh, yes. yes. Okay, uh, ideal. Let's see who haven't, who haven't gone yet. I think Daniel haven't, right, Daniel? Uh, I think Ideal volunteer. Oh, Ideal, Ideal. All right, yeah. Ideal, hello. Can you please read the text for me? Yes. Okay, go on. It is important to understand the effect photo manipulation has on people, especially young people. It's harmless enough when girls have their hair cut like a famous actress, but having plastic surgery to change the shape of their nose to make their lips bigger is great. The results are permanent and heart risk are high. In some countries, are uh, shocking. 50% of girls from 21 have considered having plastic surgery to become better looking. However, this girl doesn't realize that they want to look like someone that isn't actually real. Okay, thank you, Adil. 
It is important to understand the effect photo manipulation has on people, especially young people. It's harmless enough when girls have their hair cut like a famous actress. But having plastic surgery to change the shape of their nose or to make their lips bigger is more serious. The results are permanent and the health risks are high. In some countries, a shocking 50% of girls from 16 to 21 have considered having plastic surgery to become better looking. However, these girls don't realise that they want to look like someone that is not actually real. So what do you think about the paragraph, Ideal? Uh, for domination is harmless if girls just follow the trend of their celebrities, but I will, uh, I will be very risky when they start to have plastic surgery to change their physical features. Okay, so it's still okay if they just follow the hairstyles or the fashion style, but it starts to get risky when they are having plastic surgery. All right, thank you, Ideal. Next, can I have another volunteer, the last one? Let me try, teacher. Okay, Daniel, please do so. Uh, some some celebrities are uh, have started to rebel against photoshopping and have posted pictures of them, themselves on the internet, so that people can see how much digital manipulation uh, of photography is happening in the media. In the UK, the British Girl Guide Association has asked for all Photoshop images to be clearly labeled. Perhaps. This way, they will realize how fake the media's idea of beauty and perfection is and appreciate more genuine qualities in themselves. All right, some celebrities have started to rebel against photoshopping and have posted pictures of themselves on the internet so that people can see how much digital manipulation of photography is happening in the media. In the UK, the British Girl Guide Association has asked for all Photoshop images to be clearly labeled. Perhaps, this way, they will realize how fake the media's idea of beauty and perfection is and appreciate more genuine qualities in themselves. All right, Daniel, so what is your idea about the paragraph? Uh, this paragraph talks about celebrities who start uh, to post their real pictures on the internet to create awareness on the digital manipulation of photography. This okay. is to ensure that people will appreciate their physical qualities better. Okay, so they started to post their real pictures without any filters or any editing. Okay, so that's a good idea. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, teacher Amira. Yes. Just a quick question. Like what we just did was practicing on reading. Yes. Okay. True. But is there any tips from yourself, being an experienced teacher, on regarding this section of, of uh, you know the topic? Is there any tips that you would like yes. to share with us? Yes, coming right up. Oh wow. Okay, so for the tips, this is actually a gap text. Okay, ah. so gap text question is a section in the reading paper okay. for SPM 2021. So the tips for gap text question is first, the students need to read and understand the passage. Mm. They also need to read all the answer options. They need to read the sentences that come before and after the missing sentences. Okay. And last but not least, they need to pay attention to the nouns, pronouns, and subject verb agreement used. I see, I see. Okay. okay. All right, wait, can we proceed? Yes, please, go ahead. All right. Yeah. Okay, so now this is the second reading. For the second reading task, we are going to try to practice our skill of doing ah. the gap text question. Okay. Okay, so we are going to complete the gaps 1 until 6 with the sentences A until G given. So the sentences A until G is, uh, is actually the answer options. Okay. okay. So here we are going to apply the reading strategy of scanning where students are going to find the keywords from the paragraph and then identify the similar keywords from the answer options. Mm. Okay, let's All proceed. Right. Okay, so for number one, for question one, can I have Megat? Yes, teacher. All right, Megat, can you please read the sentences that comes before and after the missing sentence? Using computer software like Photoshop is so common that the word Photoshop has even entered dictionary as a verb. The pressure to conform to what the media shows to be beautiful influences people's psychology negatively. Okay, so what is the keywords that you can find here? The keywords or the key phrases? What is the glaring one over here? Um, I I think this keyword is people's psychology negatively. Okay, so the keyword is people's psychology negatively. So they are actually talking about the effects. Okay, the effects of digital manipulation. Okay, so let's check the answer options. 
Okay, you are saying that the effects is psychological. Okay, can you identify the similar keywords from the answer options? Is there anything to talk about effects? Uh, uh, G, I think G. Okay, G, can you please read? I think the answer is G. Uh, however, it's important to be aware of the effects this image can have. Okay, so you can notice the word effects is mentioned over there. Okay, however, it is important to be aware of the effects these images can have. So let's check. Using computer software like Photoshop is so common that the word Photoshop has even entered dictionary as a verb. Okay, so let's try to fit in. However, it is important to be aware of the effects these images can have. The pressure to conform to what the media shows to be beautiful influences people's psychology negatively. So the sentence that comes after the missing one is mentioning about effect. Nice, so let's great check job. the answer. Yes. Oh, great well job, done, Megat. Well done, Megat. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's proceed to the thank second you. question. All right, for second question, can I have ideal? Ideal, can you please read the sentences that comes before and after the missing sentence? Uh, you may think that the manipulation of photographs all began with the development of computer software. But the manipulation is almost as old as photography. But what you are actually saying is a photo of photographic John Colbert, the president's head. Start on it. Okay, so what is the keyword that can be identified from this question? What is president and... Okay, so there is the word uh, president. There is a politician, John Calhoun, but we don't know who's the president here. So are we going to identify who's the president? Let's see the answer options. Okay, is there any name of the president? Can you see from the answer options? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so where is it? Uh, Abraham Lincoln. Okay, Abraham Lincoln, that yeah. is the only yes, name. So Abraham Lincoln is actually was actually one of the mm. president of the United States. Okay, so Abraham Lincoln. So this one is quite easy. Take the famous portrait of Abraham Lincoln standing at a desk. So let's see. Okay, yes, the answer is A. Well done. Great job, Ideal. Thank you, Ideal. I also think that we can identify as old as photography. Okay. Ah. As it's mentioned that the year is 1860s. Ah, so that is very old times. Mm. All right, let's proceed to question number three. For question number three, can I have Daniel? Yes, teacher. Daniel, can you please read the sentences that come before and after the missing sentence? Uh, these early photos were usually changed using ink, paint, and airbrushes. But when photo editing, software was invented, photo manipulation really took off. Recent developments have even made it possible to digitally add in moving pictures, making actors in a scene thinner, taller, fatter, or smaller. All right. Thank you, Daniel. So what is the keywords or key phrases that can you identify from here? Uh, nowadays, there yeah, are recent developments and making actors thinner, taller, fatter, or smaller. Okay, so the first keyword is recent, recent developments. So the second keyword is, oh, you mentioned this one, making actors mm. appear thinner, taller, fatter, or smaller. So it means that they are changing their appearance. Okay, so let's see. So which part of the answer option have the similar keywords? Just now recent and changing their appearance. So which one has the similar keywords? Uh, nowadays, it's very rare to find a photo. Okay, B. Nowadays, it's very rare to find a photo in a magazine that has not been photoshopped. So, recent can be replaced with nowadays. So, this is the similar keywords. And the second one is, they are changing their appearance. So, photoshop. So, the picture are actually being photoshopped. Okay, let's see the answer. Well done, Daniel. Nice job, Daniel. All right. Next. Let's go to question number four. For question four, can I have Koror? Are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Koror, can you yes. please read the sentences that comes after the missing sentence? 
You can start from reading the but, the second sentence after the missing sentence. Uh, but how about changing the background to switch the color of dress or changing the color of model eyes or head? It is acceptable, but about making the model skin slightly smoother. The point is that everyone has their own opinion about when photo manipulation get out of hand. Okay, so where is the keyword or key phrases? Mm, the keyword is, is acceptable. Acceptable. So is this acceptable? So they are questioning back whether it is acceptable or not. Mm. Is there any other keywords or key phrases? Mm, get out of hand. Gets out of hand. So this is very important too. Gets out of hand means that it has come out of control. Okay, so let's check the answer options. Okay, can you find the similar keywords here from the text? Mm -hmm. Getting out of control and getting it's out of control proof. and acceptable. Where is it disapprove? Answer F. F. Okay, so most people disapprove of photo manipulation. So just now they were questioning back, is it acceptable? So it means they are disapproving. Okay. And then they feel that the photograph should represent reality. All right, so let's check the answer. Yes, the answer is F. F. Well done, Karar. Great job, Karar. Thank you. Next. Oh, I see Megat is supporting. <laughs> All nice. right, for question five. Can I have Akhil? Yes, teacher. Akhil, can you please read the sentences that comes before and after the missing sentence? All right, teacher. It is important to understand the effect of photo manipulation as on people, especially young people. It's harmless enough when girls have their hair cut like a famous actress. But having plastic surgery to change the shape of their nose or to make their lips bigger is more serious. All right. So what is the keyword that can you identify from here? The keywords or the key phrases? Girls have their hair cut like a famous actress. Girls have their hair cut like a famous actress. So they are actually imitating or copying, copying the style. So let's check the answer option. Is there any similarities? All right, any Teacher Amira, why don't? Let's yes. give Akhil more time to look through the answers. All right. And while, while we wait for Akhil's answer, let's take a short break. And for those watching at home, don't go anywhere. We will be right back here on Success SPM Doplo Doplo Satu. Dede TV KPM. Dede TV KPM. Hello everyone, welcome back to Success SPM Doplo Doplo Satu together with me, Chris, MJ and also Teacher Amira. And today we are talking on the subject of English and to be specific on the topic of don't believe everything you see. Uh, Teacher Amira, just before this, we were waiting uh, for Akhil's answer, am I right? Yes, true. All right, Akhil, have you got your answer yet? Yes, Teacher. Okay, so where my is the answer? answer? My answer is C. They are strongly ah uh, yeah yeah. They are strongly influenced by the images presented to them in the media, and they enjoy copying a celebrity look. Okay, so where is the similar keyword? Uh, the keyword is copying a celebrity look. Okay, so just now in the text they were they were following the style of the celebrity or imitating. So it's the same as copying a celebrity's look. So let's check the answer. Yes, the answer is C. Well done, Akhil. Well done, Akhil. Let's, let's give a round of applause for Akhil. All right, nice. Next. Let's proceed to question number six. For question number six, can I have Ismail? All right, Ismail, can you please read the sentences that comes before and after the missing sentence? In UK, the Girls Guide Association has asked for a label as asked for our Photoshop image to be clearly labeled. 
Perhaps this way they will realize how fake the media's idea of beauty and perfection is and appreciate more genuine qualities in themselves. All right, so can you find the keywords or key phrases from here? Uh, I think the keyword is I'll Photoshop image to be clearly labeled. So the key phrases are all Photoshop images to be clearly labeled. So they must label the Photoshop as edited so that people will know either the photo is being edited or not, or is it an original photo? So let's see the answer options. Okay, which one has the similar keyword to the one mentioned in the text? Uh, I think I go with E because it has a clear picture of what we are and what's not. Clearer picture of what is real and what's not. So just now, they asked people to clearly label the Photoshop images. So that is to differentiate between the Photoshop one and the original one. So it will help them to get clearer picture of which one is real and which one is not. So let's check your answer. Tada! The answer is E. Well done, Ismail. Great job, Ismail. Let's give a round of applause. Okay. So, Teacher right. Amira, yes. um, before we proceed to the next part, so what we just did was uh, practicing on what skill again? Uh, the skimming and scanning. Scanning. Mm. Okay, got it. Okay, Th those are the reading strategies regularly oh. used in reading. All right. All right. Okay, now we have another question coming up. Okay, so do you think photo manipulation is wrong? I'm going to ask from the students first. Yeah. Okay, so can we have another volunteer? Anyone would like to share your idea? My God. Hello, my God. All right, my God. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. My God, do you think photo manipulation is wrong? Uh, no, it's not an issue to use photo manipulation because some people use it for work purpose or looking for vibes to show their current mood. Okay, so people manipulate photo nowadays to show their moods, especially filters. You are using filters on Instagram and that is cute sometimes okay so do you think you will look yeah. at yes. pictures of celebrities differently after reading this text uh, yes because i need to remind myself that because i need to remind to myself that people are going to show what they want to want used to see we are not sure if this true or not so we must be careful not to believe everything shown show on social media Okay, so people are going to show us what they want us to see only. So we need to be careful into believing yes. what's real and what's not. Okay, people are going to show the good things instead of the bad things. Yes. All right, right. what do you think about this, Chris? Thanks, Magat, for your answer. It's very great insight, by the way. Um, do I think yeah, photo manipulation is wrong? Um, it is not wrong, but if used wrongly, that is the more important thing. So okay. I, I guess I would like to agree with Magat as well. Uh, it's not wrong because people use it for work purposes, but I think if used for the wrong reasons, uh, that's, that's going to be yes, dangerous. Yes, true. When it's become too extreme, then it's wrong. Mm. Okay, what about we ask from the rest of our students? Okay, can I have Daniel? Daniel, can you please share some of your insights about this question? Uh, I don't think it is wrong. Sometimes it can help uh, people to enhance the photos and images become better or clearer. Okay. However, it can be bad to especially when a person tends to edit pictures extremely that it turns out differently, different to, than reality. Okay, so photo manipulation can be good to help enhance the photos in order to get clearer pictures. Mm. Okay, but it also can be wrong, especially if we tend to do it extremely. So do right. you think you will look at pictures of celebrities differently after reading the text? Uh, no, because I already know that photos and images that celebrities, celebrities show on social media are mostly edited. Okay, so are mostly edited. What All do you right. think about that, Chris? Thanks so much, Daniel, for sharing that. And truly, Teacher Amira, your students are so amazing, giving great insights as well. Now, Teacher Amira, looks like we have come to the end of today's class. But uh, before we actually conclude, maybe you want to give us a short summary on uh, what we actually covered today. Okay, okay. 
to sum up for the lesson, we need to be careful and do some fact check before believing everything we see, especially on the social media or other online medium. So there's always another side of the story and we need to do the fact check first before spreading the hoax or rumours. So that is very important nowadays. Alright, thank you so much teacher Amira and I do agree with you because nowadays there are so many news, so many articles that are posted online and just like what teacher Amira is sharing as well, always look at the facts, look at the key words, the key phrases and do not just believe the headlines, am I right? True, yes. So with that, I would like to say thank you so much teacher Amira for thank being you, here Chris. with us and also thank you to our friends from SMK, Dato Mustafa Selengo and for those of you watching at home, I do hope I do hope that everything Teacher Amira shared with us today would be a benefit to you for your preparations for this coming SPM. With that, I say see you again and uh, here only on Success SPM 2021. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.